And here we go. Right. Okay. Hopefully not too soft. Okay. Thank you very much. Just to get it right, obviously. Here we go. Right. Do you know what the numbers are on the tape? <laughs> I'd like two and three quarters, seven and three quarters, 17 and a half, that's a good length, 13. Let me just check that out. Bearing in mind we've got no vents in it, I don't want to get it any longer. 30 somewhere, that's spot on. I'm going to give you a cross W and a cross bottom if I may. I'm going a little different to this because I want to get it quite nice. I like six and three quarters, cross W and cross B. I'd like seven and a half. Just drop your arms, Kirby, if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Let's get rid of that. Pop that there. Right, I'm going to get you to hinge the arm. You've done this before, obviously. And point your fingers. That's it, fantastic. Just like that, please. I'm going to come back, Simon, if I may. I'd like 20 and a half. Whoops. Twenty and a half, thirty-one and three quarters, please. Okay. I'm going to give you. Could you put this in a bracket for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just put right side, would you? Fifteen. Good. Now then. And in that half back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That's good. Eight and a half net, please. And if you could put a bracket and then close the brackets for me, if you would. Five and seven eighths, 30 and a half. That's great. Let's just pop that around. Let's have you around there. Smashing. Now I'd like you to actually remove the coat. I can help you off. Thank you, Terry. Okay. Okay, here we go. Just relax. On to your side, that's it. Natural, that's grand. I'd like 39 MOD, please. Just pop that over there. I must have said this millions of times. This is a coat waist. This is not your trouser waist. I've got eight seams to come out of here and I've got to make an allowance for it. Thirty-six, please. Legs together, please, Kirby. Thank you. Okay, same thing here. Lots of seams to come off this. Your trouser measures are completely different to the coat. I'd like 41, please. Can you just stand slightly astride? Okay, here we go. And just put that lovely tie down there. Okay, right. I'd like one and three eight collar stand. Shoulders as SL minus. That's great. I'd like side side my own, please. I'd like SRB and a nice little sway on the SRB with a sway on it. And I'm gonna go with let's have your sideways on again. I'm going with medium to long back balance, medium to long back balance. Just one more time around, just let me have a look at you. Yeah, put hollow front shoulders, will you, for me, please? 
And that's about it for me. And now I'll take over and you do the trousers, Terry, don't you think? Similar to Yeah, trousers. no, I meant now, rather than you take your measures. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. That's yeah. yours. Back, thank I know you. it's Very yours, clear. otherwise you'll tell me off. <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'll pinch you. Is that something that a tailor really holds on to is their tape measure? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We oh, have a well, nice well, sulk well, when somebody's you know, taking our tape. We, we lose our temper, don't we? <laughs> just a little I bit. I get very grumpy if my tape measure goes just, down. Just oh, I borrowed it once <laughs> and I thought I'd lost it. He nearly lynched me. So for the trouser height, you're going to stick to what we have mm -hmm. here. You didn't want it any higher. Up. Got 41 and a half. If I could ask you please just to hoist your trousers up as far as they'll go and then just feet slightly apart just for the inseam measure. Thirty-one and a half. Then your Kirby, tie up. Just pop your tie, that's great. Just to so just that A doesn't up. ladder it and B it gives a true reading, so Uh, this is the moment of truth. We're going with straight, with a strap and buckle, so I'm so, yeah. you know, we're close, but not crazy. 33 and a half. And then that's, feet that's good. together, please. We've got 39, not too tight, like that. I think that's good. I'm 41, there's usually two inch difference, that's pretty neat. 39, yeah? Yeah. So I'm just going to start off with the instrumentation over here. We're looking for any signs of abnormal temperature as a result from inflammation. something chronic here. Take this out straight from me, please. Thank you. And uh, we have something down here. So what we're doing right now is we're scanning your spine and we see is there any signs of inflammation. And we see a reading way down here. Let's see if there's anything else down below. No, we're clear. Alright, so let's start off with instrumentation. We're looking for that abnormal heat temperature difference. And we found an abnormal temperature right here at this level. Going down the list. Found another one right here. Right 
another one right here as well. Now we have a little chronic nerve going on here. Right there. I believe. See, we have a swelling right here. A little edema. So there should be a. There it is. There's a chronic bleeding right there. Let's see, there's something, a slight edema here. Let's see what's going on in there. Slight letter of reading, very slight. Just looking for is there any abnormal temperature going on? We found something here. And I do see there's some edema around here as well. So let's see if there's a chronic nerve there. And yes, there is. Small, but it's there. Very tiny. 